Hey everybody, welcome back to Majestic Collectibles. So I've got another uh, home video movie poster uh, video. Home video movie poster. Yeah, I guess I did say that right. It just sounded really weird. Uh, video for you. Anyway, um, yeah, this might be the last one. I had some more boxes, but I had written on them that I had sorted them. So this could be it. I'll look around, but this might actually be the last video. I don't know. So uh, I thought I had maybe three or four more videos left, and I might not. So uh, this might be the last batch, but I'm sorry if my voice sounds scratchy. I picked up a nice good old-fashioned head cold after the gi joe show a couple weeks ago and it uh it will not go away so uh, i apologize if i sound uh, stuffed up because i am and happy thanksgiving everybody this should be showing up uh, i guess it'll be thanksgiving uh eve the day before thanksgiving 2024 on that and uh you know hopefully everybody's staying warm i guess there's supposed to be some snowstorms out in the east coast and maybe uh, uh north of here so hope everybody's happy and safe and dry on that and we will go through it's not as usual not going to be a super short video there are there are a lot of uh posters in here and of course they're all upside down and you can see they're still curling even after seven whoops seven or so months they still want to hang on to that uh hang on to that curl of course when you're rolled up in a box for 30 years yeah that'll that'll probably do that for you oops trying to get a hold of these things there we go oh here's a good one uh kind of a cult following it was a major motion picture uh, I guess I'd still put in the B movie uh, category, but uh, it was it was actually not that bad of a, a teen horror flick. Not up there with Scream or anything like that, but uh, it was still kind of fun. Open season, not familiar with that one. Let me see if I can. There we go. Lisa Milano is in that one. Mark Wahlberg, Reese Witherspoon. I don't think I've ever. I don't think I've ever seen that one. Uh, Pinocchio. This is one I had. Uh, I think earlier on. Um, nothing. Nothing too exciting there. Dave Schwimmer, Gwyneth Paltrow, Barbara Hershey. If you're a 70s uh, movie buff, you would certainly recognize that name. She was in a lot of, a lot of movies there in the 70s and early 80s. I gotta tell you, I haven't heard of a lot of these. We're really getting, kind of getting down to the bottom. Oh, there we go, Leslie Nielsen, Spy Hard. James Bond, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, parody, I guess would be the correct term. Ah, Tim Curry, I tell you anything, Tim Curry is usually worth watching, it's hilarious. Uh, horror movie there, Children of the Corn 4, The Gathering, not uh, not one of the better ones, but horror movie posters always seem to find a way to sell. I love the uh, the Pooh uh, Halloween uh, poster. Doubt it's worth a ton, but that should be able to sell. That was, a, I guess, a precursor to the uh, Blood and Honey before the uh, copyright ran out. Denise calls up, no idea. Okay. Well, come on now. There we go. Another one. Hip Hop Endless Summer. Uh, some of those actually sell pretty well, to be honest with you. I don't think there's a lot of those uh, distributed. Uh, Winona Writer, that'll sell. Just fans of uh, Winona. I mean, you're named after a town in Minnesota. How can you go wrong, right? Oh, Necronomicon. Uh, it actually wasn't a super bad movie. Definitely a B movie. Don't get me wrong there, but uh, but it was fun. It was it wasn't that bad. Uh, that should be a pretty good one. Jane Eyre, another classic uh, literature turned into a uh, movie. Oop. This was not great. At least I didn't care for it. The Lawnmower Man 2. First one was actually pretty pretty good. This one not so much. Uh, still sell though. Still a horror movie. 
as well as a horrible movie. Uh, Streets of Laredo, Western stuff for anything is very, very slow. It does have a pretty darn good cast on it, though. James Garner and Sissy Spacek, Sam Shepard. This one will sell. Not the best movie in the batch on the Bloodlines, but I'll tell you what, uh, it doesn't matter because there's a lot of Pinhead fans out there of any of the versions. Uh, looks like another, uh, I don't remember this one, but another um, Marilyn Monroe kind of, I hate to use the word biography because it, it probably wasn't very accurate, but that's basically what they were doing. Last Dance with Sharon Stone. Again, uh, there's enough collectors for uh, Sharon. I think that'll probably sell eventually. Cold Comfort Farm. Joanna Lumley. Oh boy, if you're a BBC and uh, British movie buff, that name will sound familiar. Ian McKellen's in it. Um, pretty good cast, actually, but I don't think I've ever seen that one. Uh, Eraser. Schwarzenegger was not a horrible movie. It was not a great movie. So yeah, Schwarzenegger movie. Oh, Pat Labor. Uh, another manga that probably sell, not the most popular, not up there with apple seed or anything, but there's always fans of that vintage uh, manga stuff, or anime, pardon me. Manga is the printed, anime is the uh, animated, obviously, so I said that backwards. Yesterday's Target, never heard of it. Looks like a sci-fi thriller kind of thing. Oh, Last Supper, yeah, never heard of that one either. Boy, I'm not, I'm not batting a thousand here. This is Winterborn. I am not seeing a lot of, uh, hardly any popular movies. Certainly haven't seen any good movies, I don't think, on this batch yet. Hopefully this will pick up. Multiplicity. Does have Michael Keaton and Andy McDowell, so good cast. Two Bits and Pepper with Joe Piscopo. Oh my goodness. 80s kids just did a big roar, whoever's watching this, with Joe Piscopo. You had to be there. Oh, that's a good Christmas poster, so uh, I'll probably put that in the antique mall here, PDQ, see if it sells uh, during the holiday season. Dead Cold, um, nope, don't know what. Oops, I got two here on accident. So here's Nick of Time. It's a Johnny Depp uh, movie. I'm not familiar with it. Oh, here's the other one, Bed of Roses, which I, I've had at least, uh, I think a couple of those previously. You know, I'm looking at these on the coming soon and I'm seeing some posters that I, I, I would, you'd think they'd be included, right? But I have not seen a lot of them. Oh, the Sabrina remake. Uh, gotta tell you, watch the original Sabrina guys from the, uh, I think it was the late 50s, the much, much better movie. I'll just leave it at that. Oh, Leaving Las Vegas. Cult following on this movie. Probably most famous for Elizabeth Shue and her uh, uh, topless scene, to be honest. I think that sold a few tickets. Uh, but it was an interesting um, genre movie. Uh, very well made. Golden Eye, there we go. James Bond. It is Pierce Brosnan, which kind of kind of is sort of the weakest. Uh, even the Timothy Dalton stuff seems to sell a little better than this. But it is newer. Uh, but still sell. It's a Bond poster. Uh, Casino is actually a good movie. Uh, if you're into that gangster stuff and kind of thriller stuff, uh, that was pretty darn, pretty darn good. Biodome, it was stupid enough to be funny. I'll just leave it at that. So at least I'm getting some movies I've heard of and I've seen. And then, of course, I jinxed the whole thing right there with Portraits of a Killer. I am not familiar with that one. Oh, Dunstan, yep. So they ran out of how many kids could pitch in the major leagues due to some fluky thing or angels in the outfield. Then they went to, uh, yeah, well, anyway. To die for, uh, it is Nicole Kidman. Um, never saw it. I think it was fairly popular. Oh, here we go. Part of this was filmed in uh, my home state here of Iowa, just south of, well, not just south of here, a little way south of here. Uh, but they did some filming for that. That's the original one with uh, Bill Paxton in it and Helen Hunt. 
flipper remake. Watch Free Willy, actually, if you have a choice. Heaven's Prisoners. Oh, here we go. This will help. This will sell. I haven't had very many of these, and this is a two-sided. Oh, that's a light box poster. I don't... Hmm. I'm assuming that's a video store poster. They usually say VHS or something on the bo bottom, but you can see that's a, that's a double-sided for putting in a light box and lighting up. So I'll have to do a little research and see if that was actually a theatrical release poster of some type. I don't know, but it doesn't matter. Very popular yet to this day, so it will sell. Tuskegee Airmen, I've had this before. Um, we actually had some of the pilots uh, living here in Des Moines. Not a lot, just a couple, I think. They've all passed now, but uh, uh, that was kind of neat that a couple of the original Tuskegee Airmen uh, did uh, end up settling here in central Iowa, or someplace in Iowa anyway, uh, after the war. Bodyguard, good one, good poster. That'll sell. Probably not super expensive, but uh, very popular. Uh, this, uh, well, one of my favorite Disney movies. I don't know why. I always like that one. Uh, not very popular today. Doesn't hold up to Robin Hood or Lady of uh, Lady and the Tramp. Uh, but it'll probably sell eventually. If I sell it, I don't know. I might hang on to that one. Uh, yeah, I've had this poster before too. I never saw the film though. Whoops, that one. That one was actually right. Haunted, uh, boy, I don't know if I've ever seen that one. If I had it, certainly didn't leave a mark because I don't remember it. This is a good one. Uh, Sudden Death with Jean-Claude. Uh, so again, a cult uh, action movie kind of following yet to this day, so that'll sell well. Oh, there we go. Now, that's a Burt Reynolds flick, and I don't know if you can tell on that angle. That's actually uh, Burt in the picture. Uh, it is kind of a psychological horror deal, I guess you want to call it. Haunted house kind of thing. Um, it was okay. You know, it's just... I don't know. It, was, it wasn't what you expect from him. So if you're a diehard Burt Reynolds action fan, not Smokey and the Bandit. But it, it really wasn't a bad movie. Uh, Many Adventures, Winnie the Pooh. I grew up on that as a kid uh, when it was on TV. And that is a good poster. That will sell. Frankie Starlight, again, I, I got nothing. Oh, 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 it's wrinkled down there. I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it. One of my all-time favorite movies. This is the re-release. If you don't know the history, uh, they had a real tough time re-releasing this because of all the uh, copyright um, uh, situations with the music. And so there's actually a limited amount of re-release and video store release and uh, VHS, DVD stuff because of that. Uh, hugely popular. Highly recommended. Definitely not for children. Uh, but it was a great movie. I'm keeping that one. American President, eh. Oh, here's another one I will probably keep. Now, this is interesting, too. This is another two-sided. I don't think it's a theatrical release, but maybe it is. Uh, but it's another, you can see there, it's two-sided. It's not white on the back, so it's another light box poster. Uh, two Towers, I think I found... Was it the first one or the third one? I can't remember. I think it was Return of the King that I found quite a while ago. A uh, good poster. Here's another good poster. It's Star Trek. I know a lot of people, you know, kind of poo-poo Star Trek as being dead, but I sell a lot of it, and that's a good classic poster on there. A uh, movie was actually okay. It, it is not my favorite, but, uh, you know, Picard and Kirk. Uh, now, Bridges, still popular. The book still sells. This did take place about half hour south of where I am right now, uh, down near uh, the Winterset, Iowa area, kind of southwest, uh, a little bit of Des Moines, and uh, very popular, and I have been on that bridge. You can see that bridge down there. Uh, I, I believe that's one still standing. Some guy decided to start burning them down. They never did catch them, but I'm pretty sure that one's left, but uh, I, uh, I don't know. I don't remember. They all kind of look the same, to be honest. Uh, Kingdom Come comic book poster, and I, I have... I don't know what that's doing there. I have no idea why that one's in there. 
Oh, this must be from another batch because here's uh, Kyle Rayner and Hal Jordan up top. I think he's as parallax on that one. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know if those are mine personal ones or what happened there. I don't know how those got mixed in. This one, oh, this one's messed up. It's folded. Uh, Beverly Hills, the relaunch. Actually, it was really good. They did a really good job. You can see there's a big fold up there. Uh, I'll have to do something with that. Uh, it's a folded poster, so they're not nearly as popular. Uh, Casper, I did like the movie. It does have kind of a, a plot warning. I know that's going to sound weird, but if you read, uh, read, read it when it comes on uh, TV or you read the reviews, it does have a, uh, a plot warning, uh, trigger warning on it, believe it or not. I won't spoil it here, but, uh, but you might want to check that out. Uh, get Shorty. Eh, I saw it. It was all right. I know a lot of people liked it, so it'll, it'll definitely sell. Wild Bill... I don't think I ever saw that one. Another Western poster, so nothing to get too excited over. Val Kilmer uh, does have a lot of fans. Does have an all-star cast. Uh, it's a crime movie. Uh, it was good. It was a genre film, so I wouldn't expect anything, uh, um, you know, earth-shattering on it. But it was, it was not bad. Uh, here's another one I'll probably end up keeping. That's Aladdin. Is that a... Oh, that's a double-sided. You know, that looks like another... That looks like another theatrical release. And here I've got another... Another Aladdin. And that's also a light box poster. Hmm, that's interesting. In fact, this next one, I wonder if these all are. We'll have to see. Here's a Dick Tracy. Wasn't a bad movie. Uh, it's nice to see all the um, movie stars as villains and cameos and stuff in it. Uh, Madonna kind of stole the show on that one as uh, Breathless Mahoney. Uh, but overall, it, it was good. Here's another James Bond. That's a teaser poster for GoldenEye. Uh, Christmas 95, good poster. Pretty good movie. Here's a rough, I don't know, is that a theatrical release? No, I don't think so. Got a chunk out of it. It is the uh, is the original uh, Batman, though. Well, not the original original, you know what I mean. The Michael Keaton one. And last, so here's Return of the King. And uh, Lord of the Rings again. I'm going to look. Okay, yeah, and it's a light box poster again, so I don't know if that might just be a theatrical release. Now, I'm going to look just quick and see if that's it, if there's any more. That's it. So I'll do some more digging, but I think uh, I think we're done. I think that's it for the movie posters uh, for now. Uh, I do have, I just got in a Golden Age uh, comic book collection, and that video I'm going to shoot right after this. Probably going to show up, oh, this Sunday uh, uh, after Thanksgiving, so in just a few days after you see this. Uh, but check that out. Check out our other videos, and thanks for watching, guys.